Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Yvonne and Goddess. Welcome to my channel, y'all. So if you guys are new for the first time, welcome. If you have been rocking with me, though, you already know what time it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. So what is going on, you guys? I know it's been a minute. I'm back. This is your love reading for the month of December. Um, guys, thank you for being patient, right? I appreciate your patience here, okay? I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> All right, so this is your love reading for the month of December. This is for my lovely Leos. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know I love you. My love is so real. Um, I'm going to use my personal deck, y'all, okay? So this is your love reading. All right, in this reading, we're going to talk about where you're at right now in your life, okay? What do you want with your person? Um, where are they at? What do they want with you? And then also, we're going to talk about for my singles. Where are you at? What do you just want in life here, okay? What do you want? All right, you guys. Okay, so some of you guys, you guys could be at a distance or you maybe meet somebody online because I did see the word traveling and then I just saw the Six of Swords here. And guys, yeah, so this may have something to do with an Aquarius, maybe a healer um, because shine bright like a diamond was just on, right? So you may see this person as everything. Okay, so this person may be in the limelight. It could be a dream come true here, potential here. Um, we'll see. Okay. All right. Going with the flow at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Y'all know what that means, right? That's the Pisces card. Hangman energy here, okay? Patiently waiting for something. We'll see, though. All right, y'all. Let's see where y'all at here. Ooh, yeah. Some of you guys are traveling to somebody, meeting somebody new here. Could be at a distance. Could be somebody younger, potential here. Moving. Moving for sure. What y'all got? Yeah, thinking about you, okay? So overall energy, thinking about somebody. Somebody's thinking about you here, potentially, okay? Somebody's unable to kick a connection. They can't ignore their feelings here, okay? This is the person that got away. You stay on my mind. Okay. Um, this person might not be normal. <laughs> in the in this sense, like it's just one of a kind here, right? Um, but you may want to think you may want to grow old with this person here. Might be obsessing, stressing, worrying. You might just be thinking about somebody. Top, okay. So let's see where you are right now in your life. You're healing, right? You are definitely healing. Okay. Some of you guys, there may need to be some healing, okay, from something that happened in your life here. But you could be wanting to heal in your life or heal a connection. All right, somebody's definitely learning, understanding, and acceptance here. Somebody could be in pain, though, right? Still hurting, okay? Recovering, though. We're trying to move on. We're moving on. We're moving to better days here. All right, and you could be at a distance from somebody. Separation, mentally, physically, emotionally here, especially emotionally if you're healing, okay? Um, this person could have been back and forth, in and out, right? You guys are just trying to move forward. What do you want with your personal, y'all? No. <laughs> All right, guys. So for some of you guys, I feel like no, I, it is what it is, guys. Some of you guys are saying, no, I don't want the connection, right? I just don't want it. All right. Um, others of you guys, so I feel like you guys are saying like, no, I don't want it to go away. Like, yeah, I want to heal it. I want to heal this connection here. Possibly I'm drawn to this purple. So this amethyst or it's just healing. Like I want to heal. I don't want to let something go here. Okay. All right. Well, where is your person at? Ooh. So your person, it's like you guys are kind of in the same place here. Your person is trying to open up, right? Your person is trying to unlock that heart chakra here. All right. Your person might be ready to go ahead and love again. All right. Somebody wants you to let them in. All right. Somebody's ready to kind of let either they want you to let them in or maybe they're ready for you to come back in here. Yeah, somebody's releasing the past, right? They're releasing the ex. It's like I get a second chance at love again here, okay? Yeah, so you guys are like both kind of in this energy of healing. All right, so let's see, though. What do they want with you, though? I love you, but you know, you might get on my nerves here, okay? Um, somebody's scared to open up, okay? Now might not be the right time for this individual. They could be having a lot of other things going on in their life, okay? They're still thinking about somebody else or just something from their past here. Somebody's a little bit apprehensive, okay? Scared to open up. Maybe kind of scared to show that vulnerability, that vulnerable side here, vulnerability. 
All right, somebody's unsure about the connection though, right? They're kind of thinking that things won't really change. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. What's the challenge on this connection? Ooh, it's your own energy, y'all. It's the Leo card here. It's the Sun card here. All right, the challenge is that high vibration, right? That challenge is vitality here. Maybe the challenge could be sex, right? Uh, but it's like really kind of bringing a renewal of something, an offer, okay? There could be some blocked communication or just somebody is blocked emotionally here, all right? The challenge could be a distance or you guys just reuniting, right? The challenge could be somebody has a big appetite here with the happiness card, okay? Um, birthdays, pregnancies, anniversaries, weddings, proposals. Somebody might want that. The other person might not want it. All right, but it's vitality. It's that young energy here. Somebody could be immature or it's just bringing a lighter energy into this connection, right? Because we have some people here that, you know, somebody's a little bit, somebody's healing here. Maybe I don't want to open up and this person is saying, hey, if you let me in, we might can have something here. Maybe it's just people kind of going out on a date and having some fun here. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys, it could just be sex, so, right? The challenge is sex. Whether somebody has a big appetite or somebody's not getting any sex here, okay? All right, so let's see, though. For where you at, Leo's healing. Yes, I'm trying to get my swag back here, okay? Leo, king of wands, that's your own energy here. <laughs> All right, so this is definitely somebody gaining up their confidence, getting their swag here, stepping into their own personal power, right? I'm getting my charm. I'm getting my charisma. I'm just really feeling myself, help, bringing that passion back into my life here. Now, others of you guys, this could be somebody who is just, you know, a ladies man or, you know, a woman that likes all the ladies and, you know, they just are interested in sex, sex, sex. All right, and that could be you know, it could be a void. It could be for something, guys. You know, you got to take it how it resonates. Um, somebody could be healing from a connection with another fire sign or just somebody that they are really attracted to here, okay? But I feel like you guys are trying to stand in that personal power of feeling confident again here, okay? All right, y'all. Wanting to maybe give something to somebody. You guys are wanting like a new beginning with somebody or just a new beginning within yourself here, right? A crown, like I'm not letting my crown fall off. I'm the king, I'm the queen here. All right. All right, y'all. Okay. All right, so for no, what do you want with your person? Why is it a no? All right, because it could be too much work here, right? Somebody could be focusing on work. Somebody might not have any money, right? This person might not have any money. It might be a burden here. Somebody didn't, somebody wasn't getting the recognition here, possibly. It's like you, you guys might work together. <laughs> All right, you guys, somebody might be really focused on their money here, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Um, But somebody might be really focused about their money, right? That's just kind of... Somebody has a special craft, right? Somebody's hustling. Somebody's just really trying to figure out how they can build something. Or maybe somebody wants to go to school for something. It's like, you know, I don't really have time for that. This connection might be too much work. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to kind of heal something. All right, y'all. So um, your person, right? Where are they at right now? Ooh, unlock your heart. I'm sorry. Right, this person is really trying to like level up here. Right, this is a soulmate card. So this is definitely somebody trying to um, balance their divine masculine and divine feminine side here, okay? Somebody may want reconciliation. Somebody may want an apology here. It could be a water sign, all right? Somebody just, I feel like, oh yeah, like a water sign and a Leo. All right, or it's just a soulmate connection, guys, here. Okay, twin flame, lover's card, maybe a Gemini. Somebody is really independent here. Somebody is really independent here, and I feel like they... Yeah, this is deep. Yeah, guys. Um... 
Yeah, somebody might want reconciliation. Or they're just trying to open up here. They had their heart broken. I swear that I never love again, right? So I feel like this person is really just trying to kind of find that balance with them within themselves. Like maybe practicing self-love here. Or maybe they're wanting something with you, my Leos. Somebody's thinking about you, right? A lot. Or you're thinking about somebody here, okay? Take the roles as they resonate, guys, okay? You could be this person over here. You could be that person over there. Only you will know, okay? All right, y'all. So what, what do they want with you, though? What do they want with you, Leo? All right, you know, they want that offer. <laughs> All right, the Knight of Pentacles, guys. This is definitely somebody. He's holding that pentacle really high here, okay? It's a one pentacle. It's the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know. For guys, for some of you guys, they're turning your they're so because this person is so strong and somebody's really working on finances, and it could be it could be your person, right? Because it's like you're saying no because of somebody's working too much, right? There's not enough attention or focus on the connection here, okay? Um so with the Knight of Pentacles, somebody could be drinking, guys, okay. All right, but anyways, guys, yeah, this horse looks really sad here. So I feel like for some of you guys, your person is like, you know, I love you here, but I really want something committed, right? And I'm willing to kind of go elsewhere, guys, right? I love you, but he has his back towards his two of cups here, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night. Could be a Taurus here, um, but when he comes, he comes correct. He comes committed here. He doesn't give up. It's like, I love you, but I never got that date. I never love you, but I never got the apology here. I love you, but I'm focusing on my money here. I love you, but I'm going to go towards my happiness. And that might be with somebody else here. It might be with you. Okay, y'all, let's see. The challenge for the connection. Why? This happiness. Yeah, guys, somebody's working on their money here, right? The, all these pentacles here, okay? Somebody's so focused on their money. All right, guys? Um, somebody isn't happy within themselves, though, guys, okay? And because of that, you know, when we're not happy within ourselves, like, nobody can fill a void. Nobody can kind of give us the things that we really, truly desire. Guys, I just looked at but the clock. It was one, two, three, four, okay? So it's alignment, right? Somebody's not in alignment with themselves or somebody's not in alignment with the connection here. Yeah, guys, there's no balance here. This lady... Um, she has the three of pentacles over here. Like she's building something. She's creating something. She's working on something that makes her happy. All right. The six of pentacles is behind her. That's that equal give and take, right? I'm making the decision to kind of go towards my happiness. Maybe it's my coins. Maybe it's another job. Maybe I'm moving away here, right? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about what really makes me happy. And I'm going to go towards that entrepreneur, businesswoman, promotion, just about their money here, right? It could be a man or a woman, right? Somebody's more folk than money, the money. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, um, you know that song money, you know, I don't want to say it, guys, <laughs> but there's like a song, you know, money, money, you know, somebody gets to fix off of money, right? So it's like, you know, love is cool, right? But money is my thing here, okay? Yeah, because I'm trying to build something. The Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles here, um, an empire, family, stability, a legacy here, okay? Now, for others of you guys, so this is somebody who doesn't value themselves. They don't see their own self. They're not happy within themselves, and because of that, Sitting at home, right? Thinking to myself here. Started thinking about you. How much I miss you. I really, really do, guys, okay? Now, either somebody's not happy within themselves or somebody didn't see the value in somebody. They didn't express their happiness to somebody. And so somebody had to leave. All right, y'all. All right, for my singles, where y'all at, though? Where you at, singles? You guys are feeling yourself here, right? You're putting yourself first. You're looking good. You're focusing on your money. Get in the bag here. Get in new jobs, promotions, businesses here, right? You guys are just really, you know, getting your hair done, your nails done, staying fresh, all right? You're not people pleasing anymore, okay? You're making sure that your needs are met, right? Focusing on your wants, all right? Creating something, building something. 
Um, some of you guys could be go-getters, right? So just make sure you're taking some time out to rest, right? That self-love, that self-care. You guys are following your dreams, and I feel that very strongly here. So either your person is following your dream, their dreams, or it's you. You're focusing on your money here. It's like you're only do you're only gonna do things that feed your soul, right? You're releasing stress. I don't got time for that, right? The challenge was happiness. I wasn't happy before. Now I'm gonna be real selfish here, and I'm gonna do all the things that make me happy. Beautiful. Took a long time for me to get there, but I stayed committed. I didn't give up. I did the work. I did the healing work here, right? Beautiful guys. Okay. All right. So what do you guys want though? I want something new, y'all. <laughs> I want that new new here. I want something young. I want something fresh here. All right. I want to, you know, you guys could be kind of getting to know yourself on a deep level here. Um, but, you know, I want somebody new. All right. New love, new you, new boo, right? Flirting, being open hearted. That chakra is wide open. Somebody's vulnerable because they're doing the healing. All right. I want something authentic and pure. I want something fresh here. I feel like you guys definitely want somebody who has swag, but somebody who can give, who can balance you out, right? Yeah, because we get, you guys might want a water sign, right? Fire and water, right? A temperance, maybe even a Sagittarius. But I feel like you guys want somebody that can balance you out here. That's hardcore, but then also who's gentle with you, with my lovely Leos, right? <laughs> All right, so wise, put yourself first here. Yes, you guys are manifesting. Of course you are. You guys always are. All right, um, so you guys are kind of just working on yourself, working your magic, right? Manifesting businesses, jobs, careers here. You guys are putting in the work for all the things that you really want. Being assertive, being a go-getter here. It's like you find yourself here, right? Maybe I don't want a relationship. I just want sex, right? Maybe I want an Aries. But you guys are standing in this energy. Like to me, the magician is kind of like the Aries because it's the emperor, the pentacle here. Um, so this is all about, you know, I'm building something. I'm confident. I'm strong, right? I'm not chasing nothing except for the things that I really want here. Yeah, you're not letting people manipulate you. There could have been somebody in the past where, you know, somebody was just feeding you dreams here, not putting in the work, just telling you things. You guys are being selfish, which is a beautiful thing here. Why is Nunu here for what it is that they want? Ooh. <laughs> I will get another one for this power card, guys. You might want a Scorpio. Okay, um, guys, that new new, I feel like you guys, okay, for some of you guys, you guys might want some makeup sex with somebody. That's like a tower car, guys, and to me, like, you know, I got my sex deck, and that is like a makeup, especially with reconciliation, unlock your heart here, okay? Yeah, and this is a makeup sex card, too, for me, for my sex deck, okay? So some of you guys might want to bring a new energy into an existing connection where something crumbled away here, Okay. All right, why is the tower card here for what it is that they want here for my singles? Mm. Could be a Pisces. Destruction conflict. I feel like you guys might, for my singles, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some of you guys might want something back with somebody from the past here. With the Five of Wands and the Tower card, it was like there was a lot of conflict. Why is this here? Somebody walked away. All right, y'all. Um... You, you, and.
then guys I feel like for some of you I'm sorry guys I feel like for some of you guys with this five of wands and this unfaithful card guys you guys might want something that you might that you should that you shouldn't want <laughs> All right, because we got, I'm not keeping real unfaithful at the bottom of the deck here. A bat. It's like a new beginning, a rebirth of some, I feel like you guys want something from your past. You could be manifesting um you guys for some of you guys I, I i feel like voodoo yeah some of you guys are doing magic maybe some black magic maybe some voodoo here uh but anyways i feel like this is definitely an energy where it's like there was something it's like you 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 might Guys, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. It's like you guys don't know. <laughs> yeah, what you want might make you cry. Um, I feel like you guys might want something that is just like, you know, a little bit dangerous here. Right? Possibly. Um, because there might be a lot of attraction. Could be sexual. But I feel like in this energy, you guys want something new. But I, I don't know that the foundation is set here. I don't know that the foundation is in the right place for it to be something successful here. Okay. So, you guys, um, yeah, that's what I have for you. That's deep. All right. Um, I love you guys. All right. If you are made, if you made this right, please hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Come rock with your girl. As always, talk to your girl. I'll talk back, y'all. Peace.